wouldn't mind sharing the screen. So everyone, uh, the game that we're going to play, which is very tied in to Devar and Tarth, we just heard, it's a game called Mitzvah Jeopardy. Um, and the way it works is... Um, Sorry, Avi, you need to let me uh, share my screen. There you go. Sorry about that. You're good. All good. Perfect. The way the game works is, as you can see on the screen, there are four different categories. There's arms, there's a mouth, there's legs and ears. We use our entire body every day to do lots of different mitzvot. Just like we say in a Sheyatzar and Elkai Neshama, where we're thanking Hashem that our whole body is working and that we get to use it as Shama, we get to use our entire body to do mitzvot to connect to Hashem. So we're going to play a game. Every single category here is going to have a different question about a mitzvah that we do with a different body part. So what's going to happen is we're going to click on different ones, and based off of whoever is raising their hand, we're going to we're going to ask you to see if you can help us solve the questions to see which mitzvah fits in with each body part. Okay, let's let's go with the first topic. Let's go with the topic of um, arms. Arms for eighteen. Arms for eighteen. Okay, raise your hand if you know the answer. Question is, what prayer do you cover your eyes to say? Okay, Eitan Warnick from LA. Shema. And the answer is, indeed, Shema Yisrael. Wow, beautiful, beautiful Eitan. On the money, right there. Love it. Okay, next question. Let's go to a different topic. Let's go to mouth for 770. Okay, the question is, which blessings do we say after we wake up? Okay, Yocheved Fleischman. Yocheved, what do we think? Um, Odaani. Odaani. Odaani is one of them. It's one of the blessings we say in the morning, right? Yeah. Okay, so it's the morning blessings. Okay, let's see our answer. Berkat Shachar. That's right, and Berkat Satara. By the Ani and all the morning blessings are the things that we say after we wake up. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Yocheved. I love that. Thank you. Okay, moving on to our next topic. Let's let's figure it out. Let's go. Well, let's go back to the topic of arms. Let's see. Arms for twenty six. The question is, when do you wash your hands to eat? What happens when do we need to wash our hands to eat? Okay, Mr. We... Jeffrey. Okay, Jeffrey. What do we think? Before hamotzi. Before hamotzi, right? Right. Okay. So let's see. When you're eating bread. That's right, Jeffrey. On fire. Love it. Very good. Very good. Okay. Okay. Moving on. Next topic. When we press escape. Very good. Okay. Um, let's go to, um, let's go back to mouth. Mouth for 613. What do we do before we eat? Something we should be doing, right? Before we okay, eat. Mr. Max Fire. Max, let's hear it. What do we think? Um, I think we're we're eating doing before um, your fingers. Right. So we definitely use our fingers. But the question is, right before we eat, is there something that we're supposed to Shoshana say? Shoshana from LA. We have to say a bracha. We have to say a bracha, and let's hear it. We make a bracha. Shoshana, fantastic. Love it. I'm hearing some great answers today. Loving it. Very very good. Okay. Uh, let's go back to arms. Arms, let's see. For 126, question is, what do men traditionally put on their arms All during right, the Simcha morning with prayers? The what do we think? Ooh, Simcha Yachad Wanzi. Uh, yeah, My favorite just, kind of just, What do we think? Yeah, uh, I'm filling. It's filling. Okay. And the answer is, it's filling. Wow. Spot on. Spot on. Very, very good. Loving it. You guys are on fire. Okay. Very good. Let's go back to the topic of mouth for 126 or not, or 18. Okay. What do we usually drink for Kiddush on Friday night? What do we think? What is it? Is it water? What is it? What do we think? Hmm. Let's go with Mr. Josh. Mr. Josh. What do we think? What do we usually drink for Kiddush on Friday night? Yeah. Um... Um, 
uh, uh, um, I always know this word. Mm -hmm. is, it, is it a challenge there? It's the what? One more time? Is it a challenge? It is a challenge. It's a, challenge? It's a tricky. Let's see if we can get some of our friends to help us out on this one. Okay. Dina Sheva? Dina, what are we thinking? Um, Huggafen. Huggafen, right. right? Fruit of the vine. What do we think? Wine or grape juice, the two things to make a guffin on. Wow, fantastic, spot on. You guys are fantastic, I'm getting them all. Okay, um, let's let's do legs. Let's go to a different topic. Legs for 18. Where do people walk to on Shabbat to pray? Pre -COVID. Where do people usually go? Or, okay, before COVID, usually, right? Julia Jessica. Julia Jessica. Um, synagogue. The synagogue, and the answer is to the synagogue, fantastic, spot on, very, very good. Okay, loving it, you guys are getting this, wow, loving it. Okay, um, let's go back to arms for 613. Question is, what do Jewish women traditionally do right before Shabbat? May Steinberg. Let's hear it, May, what are we thinking? Sorry, yes. What do Jewish women traditionally do right before Shabbat? They put on a snood or somebody cover their hair. They cover their hair and then what do they do? Right. They light the... Uh, uh, the candles. They light the candles. Wow. That's it. So we're spreading the light. Loving it. Very good. Very, very good. Uh. Okay. Moving on. Okay. Let's go back to legs for a second. Okay. Legs for 26. What is the name of the gifts we run to deliver on Purim? What are they called? Johanna from LA, make us proud. Shlach Mano. No? no. Answers are Shlach Mano. That's right. Got it. Very good. Very good. Okay. Um, let's do. Ears um, haven't gotten any love mount. lately. The ears? Okay. Let, let's show some love to the ears. Let's do ears for 18. What is a mitzvah to hear? Gabi on Purim? What are we supposed to hear? Hear aids. <laughs> well, you gotta, you gotta get the hearing aids to hear. I yeah. like where your head's at, Gabby. I like that. But the question is, what specific yeah. listen to on for it? I um, like where your head's at. Okay. To uh, listen. Yeah. What are we supposed to listen to, Gabby? On for it. What's it called? Okay. Let's try Amy. Okay, Amy. Let's oh, hear sorry, it. I'm not Amy. Okay. Amy is really our own. If you want to change it. Let's go, Aaron. You're up. Let's hear it, Aaron. What is the mitzvah? Mm. 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 What are we supposed to listen to? On mm. Mm. Yeah, good Esther. job. And the answer is Megillus Esther. Aaron, fantastic. Love it. Wow, you guys, you guys are so smart. Okay. Better than me. Um, okay, let's hear it. Moving on. Okay, well, uh, which is the ears? Um, let's go, uh, let's, let's show some 770 some love. Let's go to arms for 770. Can't go wrong with 770. Okay, question is, how many candles do we light on the last night of Hanukkah? Steve Krauss. Let's hear it, Steve. What are we thinking? Eight. Eight. Yeah. The correct answer is, Right click. The correct answer is eight. Very good. Wow. Very good. Eight candles for the eighth night. Very good. Love it. Okay. Moving on. Let's go back to legs. Okay. Legs for 126. The question is, what is the song Jews traditionally dance to for simchas? Well, you you're up. Dance is called Rhymes with Torah. Hello? Yeah. What's the dance called? We sing in songs too. We call the We call the Hakafas. We do dance by the Hakafas. That's true. That's true. I'm looking for something a little bit different. I like where your head's at. That is true. But I'll give you a clue. This one is rhymes with Torah. I see. You can do that. Okay, do the turn. You know, you can do the whole thing Okay, let's try Rocky. 
Rocky? Yeah? Go ahead, answer the question. What's the question? Question. All right, we got a new question for you. Go ahead. <laughs> Moving on to the next question. We're done with that question. The question's done. Stand by, okay. Rocky. Okay. Okay, we're moving on to, to ears or not. Okay, we're moving on to ears for 26. I guarantee it. Okay, the question is, what word in the Megillah do we make noise when we hear it? What's the word? What word in Megillah do we do we make noises when we hear it? Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, Megillah. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah. Uh, I'll give you a clue. Can yeah, I have some help, sure. I'll give you a clue. Many, it's a name, and many people say boo when they hear it. Start to the ha, ends with a man. Good job. You got oh, it. Oh, Good oh, job. Come on. Very yes. nice. Thank you, Rocky. Is it Haman? No worries. No worries. This is tricky. We're getting to the tricky section. Okay. Thank you. Next up. Come on. Beautiful. Okay, let's get some mouth um, going on. Okay, mouth for 26. What is read from the Torah every single Shabbat? Okay, Princess Zahava. Let's hear it, Zahava. Um, the Torah. But what are we reading from the Torah? Um, the Parsha. The Parsha. That's right, Princess Zahava. I love it. Spot on. Very good. Very good. Okay. Moving on. Next subject. Let's go back to ears. Ears for 126 is, question is, what do we listen to on Rosh Hashanah every year? Zachary? Zachary, what do we think? What do we listen to on Rosh Hashanah every year? Zachary, you got to unmute yourself. Monica. I try. No, I can't find her. Okay, Zachary, go ahead. Uh, the shofar. The answer is the shofar. Very good. Very, very good. Tremendous. Very good. Loving it. Okay, let's go to legs for 126. Okay, that we did that one already. Let's go back. We didn't end up answering it, so now we can let someone answer. Oh, it. that's right. Thank you, Esther. Okay, Shoshana Summer. The Hora. The Hora. Yay. Hey, very good, Shoshana. Sort of representing the East. Very good. Okay. Okay, moving on to ears for 613. Question is which Jewish holiday do we hear the Ten Commandments? Um, oh gosh, is it the Asherah Hadibrot? That's the one, but when do we listen to them? Uh, can I have a hint? Sure. It comes after Passover. Um, Might have a lot there the other day. And cheesecake. Oh, the Shavuot, obviously. Oh, Shavuot, obviously. Wow. And the correct is Shavuot, obviously. Fantastic. Very good, Salar. You're killing it. Loving it. Okay. Now let's do... Only four more left. Okay, let's do legs for 613. Tali Cutler. Okay. According to Jewish tradition, which shoe gets put on first? Is it the left one or the right one? What do we think? What are we thinking? What do you say? According to Jewish tradition, which shoe gets put on first, your left one or your right one? What do you say? The question is, when it comes to your shoes, right, there's a specific order that Jewish people have a tradition of putting on. Which one goes yeah. first? The left what? shoe or the right shoe? I don't know what you're saying. Okay, let's try DJ Rafi. Let's see if we get our friends to help us out. Okay, DJ, let's hear which, which shoe do we usually have the tradition of putting on first? The right or the left? In the left. One more time? In the left. The left? Okay. Yes. Are we sure? Yes, he's sure. Yeah, I, li I like where your head's at. I like where your head's at. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we get some of our friends to help us out with that one. 
Um, okay, Miriam Levitz. Miriam, is it a left one or a right one? Um, it's the right. The right one. And the correct answer is the right one. And then we do the left. That's both right. Both get put on. Both shoes hopefully are being put on. The right one does go first. Very good. Very good. Okay. We got a couple more. We have a few more. Um, let's do um, mouth for 126. Let's see it. Question is, what is the name of the prayers that are said in the morning, I the afternoon, let's and go, the Let's go, Shira. Let's go, Shira. What are they called? Um, no clue, but I do have a question. Someone needs to start this chat. This is really bothers me. Okay. Okay. We're, we're going to have to figure that. We're going to have to figure that out. Okay. Um, host, host. What do we think? What's the name of the prayers? What's the one in the morning called? What's the one in the afternoon called? What's the one in the evening called? What do we call them? Uh, Bracha, what about you? Uh, I was waiting and waiting and waiting. And you were well, thank God now it's your turn. What do you think the answer is? Bracha, we're saving it for you. What do you think? What? What's the name of the prayer that we say in the morning, the prayer we say in the afternoon, the prayer we say in the evening? What's it called? What are they called? Um, uh, what do you mean? There's a time that we open up the sitter and we start praying. We start dominating to Hashem. There's one prayer that happens in the morning. There's another prayer that happens in the afternoon. The other, there's another prayer that happens in the evening. What are those three prayers called? Okay, hmm. Shira, help a girl out. Okay, I have out. Um, what's the question? The question is, what's the name of the prayers that are said in the morning, that's said in the afternoon, and what's the name of the prayers that's said in the evening? Um, hmm. well, you, you always say, um, Shankar in the morning and in the afternoon. In the afternoon, Great. very good, very good. I like that. What about the one in the evening? What's the answer? Here. We're so close. Go ahead. Get, get the answer. Oh, I, it's, it's me. Um, okay. And the last uh, evening one is Mariv. Very good. Okay, guys, we're getting there. We're getting there. Hearing some really beautiful answers. Last uh, last couple ones. Let's get legs for 770. That's okay. here. Let's get legs. Okay. On Pesach, who are we traditionally walking to open the door for? What do we want to do? That's right. There we go. We're letting him in. Love it. Very All right. Good. We got a lightning round coming up. And okay, lightning one. Difficult one. 770. We've got to choose the most 770 person to answer this. Okay. What is the mitzvah to not cut a Jewish man's hair growing on the corner of his face? What's the name of that mitzvah? What is it called? Someone knows 770. Let's hear it. Mr. Avrami Adler. Uh, Rummy, there we go. 770. Let's hear it. 770, me? <laughs> Perfect. Well, <laughs> really? I, I think we have a little bit of a role reversal, David. <laughs> the, the, the mitzvah to not cut a Jewish man's hair growing on the corners of his face. I mean, that I don't know if you're looking for payos, but... Uh, you know, the answer that, is payos. I mean, you got it. 770. Hey. Everyone, thank you so much for playing. It was truly a pleasure to be a part of this. We're hoping we get to see uh, see each other sometime soon. And just like with all these mitzvahs, hopefully we get to increase in our mitzvahs and we get to connect to Hashem and bring Mashiach right now. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so Amen. much, Yankai, Los Angeles. 